Gemma, you came on and played a really key part, closing out that test match and um, kind of got the ship straightened back up again. What was the difference besides yourself? Um, I don't really know. I, I suppose we we got back into our game plan. We got back into one of what we wanted to do, um, what we practiced all week, and that was exiting out of our own end um, and trying to keep them in their own half because we know how much they love to play. So that was that was probably the main one, I think, just exiting, getting out of our half. We did have a bit of a tailwind, which made things a little easier. So a, a great, well, in my opinion, great week having you in the camp. Um, first week here with the Maldives. What's what's been the highlight for you? Well, definitely chucking on the jersey, but I guess getting to spend the week in the environment, uh, learning how things kind of roll, and um, it's, a, it's a relaxed environment, and we probably didn't flick the switch when we got out there um, in the first half, but I've enjoyed all the waiata and all the haka, so it kind of takes me back to the school days a bit. Awesome. Pretty special, eh? And so what do you reckon, what was, the, what was some of the, what was a key tipping point in the second half? Oh, I think we, we just kept working hard and they got they got gassed really. Um, we turned around and we had we had a strong one and we uh, just had to stick to our guns. So uh, we've obviously got a lot to work on uh, moving forward into the Barbarians game. But it was a pretty spirited performance to, to come back after that first half because they're definitely on top of us for a while. Hey, Jacob Skeen here. Uh, first test match in the Māori All Blacks. I uh, had a storming game. Kind of got better as the game unfolded. And he had that big uh, rig uh, moving pretty quickly at the end of the game. How did it feel? Uh, yeah, it was a um, great experience. I, um, I, yeah, as you said, I felt like it took me a little while to get into it. But um, the support of these boys and um, just having to focus on my job uh, made it easier as, as the game went on. Yeah. You, you guys had a field day at the line-out. Well, tell, tell me what was going on there, because technically I don't know what's going on, but you guys were caning them. Uh, yeah, um, we've just been working on that um, for the last week or so. And, um, just focusing on who we're getting up and, and watching their lineouts from um, their, their tests last year, um, and a lot of it's quite similar. So, yeah, we knew what we were doing when we went in, and um, yeah, just stuck to our systems and worked it. And um, Damien, first test, give us the uh, the highlight. Um, oh yeah, yeah, coming back in the second half to get a win was pretty um, pretty awesome. You know, um, being down by about 16 points at the half and to come back. With, um, was it 17 unanswered points? Was uh, uh, pretty awesome. Pretty significant comeback, eh? Especially in a test match like that in Fiji's home um, in their backyard. Uh, what's been the highlight for the week for you? Uh, I think just getting around with all the lads. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great team environment, and um, you know, we get to see any good weather in Fiji. So hopefully, we see some more. Yeah, no, you know, I've enjoyed it, and then um, to cap off the week with the wins, uh, you know, it's an awesome, awesome game. Rico, first test. To, to talk me through it, especially that second half. Yeah, the boys really picked it up in the second half. Um, thought we, had a, oh, we had a lot better kick chase and um, put some phases together well, but now it's a good win out there. What's been the highlight around the, the cultural stuff for you? Yeah, um, obviously learning the haka was huge for me, and getting to perform it out there was something huge. Um, it's different haka to what everyone else is used to in New Zealand, um, and the only team that does it was our Māori team, so now it's huge out there. Uh, kind of Nissan Bula, Kelda, Kanaka, Kapai. Tom by Metzen signing off for the Maldi Oblix 2015 in Fiji.